you know, Steve, if there's one thing this outbreak has shown us, it is that people in this community really and truly step up for one another. Tonight, a local fire department has hundreds of boxes of new protective gear, all thanks to an incredible donation. News 4's Venton Blandon shares that story with us tonight. From the forklift to the fire truck, help is on the way. It'll make sure that we have a stockpile for when this could possibly get worse. Afton Fire Protection's Assistant Chief Aaron Rhodes accepted 200 boxes of gloves and 100 boxes of suits donated by MSD. We hope that the direct impact here is that um, some of these first responders can go home at night knowing that they have the equipment they need to do their jobs and they come in every day. The PPEs will help Afton firefighters battle the coronavirus. It's a fight some first responders feel unequipped to win. This thing is so important. It's shutting down our whole world. No one in my lifetime has seen anything like this. Rhodes tells News 4 for weeks he and other firefighters have struggled getting the basic items first responders and medical professionals everywhere are wanting. We were online um, trying to get anything we could, but there's so many people doing it just for themselves that we were having a hard time finding anything. He says getting things like sanitizer and disinfectant sprays to clean trucks meant waiting three weeks or more. That's why Robert Jackson with Express Chem provided bottles of those. Just to be able to keep doing what they're doing. You know, if they're not able to disinfect and clean their equipment after every run, the chances of one of them getting sick are obviously skyrockets. And then from there that, you know, their ability to do their job goes down. In St. Louis, Vincent Blandon, News 4.